The most famous probes into deep space launched by NASA are probably the Voyager series of probes, but these were based on an earlier system of probes called Pioneer. The series started with a number of probes to the moon and a rather poor track record, followed by some probes monitoring the solar winds and other solar activity, till finally Pioneer 10 and 11 were launched in 1972 and 1973 with missions which included flybys of Saturn and Jupiter and measurements of the interstellar medium. Now these missions were successful and gathered a great deal of information as well as influencing the slightly later Voyager missions. Like Voyagers, Pioneer 10 and 11 and headed out of our system, solar system with Pioneer 10 and Voyager 1 being in almost exactly opposite directions. However, like a lot of scientific experiments, sometimes the interesting stuff isn't what you plan to find, but some of the things you discover almost by accident. In the case of the Pioneer probes, it's what's come to be known as the Pioneer Anomaly. Although the spacecraft are actually leaving the solar system at a fairly high speed, their velocity is gradually slowing down as being pulled back by the gravity of the Sun. This kind of gravity break being applied to the Pioneer craft is really tiny, but it's measurable and expected. What wasn't expected was the craft seemed to be slowing down faster than was expected. Initially this tiny extra slowing was overlooked. However, because the pioneers spent so long travelling through space after passing either Jupiter or Saturn without any other gravitational effect from a moon or another planet, and basically coasting through space. Additionally, unlike nearly all other craft, they weren't using thrusters for course corrections or for attitude control, so none of these factors could mask the apparent increase in drag on the spacecraft. The question was, of course, what was causing these spacecraft to slow down? And there were a whole series of theories proposed, each one analysed, checked and double checked, and most of them dismissed. The first theory to check, of course, was that the effect was actually real, not just down to some fault in measurement. Now, once this had been dismissed, the scientists moved on to possible gas leaks from the crafts, acting as a thruster, dust and other particles in space impacting on the craft, or an unknown object causing a change in the gravitational effect, causing the spacecraft to slow down. Now these problems for the theories were that two craft were heading in vastly different directions, so another object could be ruled out as it causing a change in velocity by using its gravity. And the velocity change was too large and regular to be counted for either by a gas leak or for minor impacts. Now, other theories as to whether some of the existing models of the universe were correct were also considered, including things like time distortion, expansion of the universe and inertia, but none of these really seemed to work. The only theory that did match the existing data was that of a thermal recoil force. As the Pioneer craft are drifting through space, they're considerably warmer than their surroundings. However, not even warmer in general, actually warmer on one side of the craft than the other. The warm areas of the craft radiate energy out in the universe, they're pushed back slightly as a result. The warmest areas of the Pioneer probes, created by the plutonium power source and the electrical systems, are actually pointing away from the Sun, or more specifically, pointing away from the Earth. It means that the overall effect is to slow the craft down slightly. Now, whilst this explanation fits fairly well with available data, it hasn't yet been actually proved. However, if thermal recoil force is the answer, then the New Horizons probe is likely to be subjected to an even more powerful retardation force due to the way it's been constructed. So, measurements of its velocity are likely to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that is the cause of the Pioneer anomaly.